Welcome to J.P. Morgan Chase Investment Banking Virtual Internship Task 3. In this task, we need to populate a DCF model to value Happy Hour Co. based on projections provided by the client and using the DCF model to create a summary slide communicating your results to the client. All the required data is present in the description. Here we have two Excel files. We need to populate any one of them. First Excel file give you description about Happy Hour Co. Five-year management plan, like revenue, EBITDA, and etc. The second and third Excel file are your DCF model, and you need to populate only one of these. The only difference between the two Excel file is one already filled pretty much, and the other one is empty. You need to fill it up. That's why I'm going to populate the advanced version. Now let's move on to our advanced version and populate the discount cash flow model for Happy Hour Co. The first input we need to provide is for revenue, which can be found in the financial sheet of the company. Just click on the financial sheet and you will see the revenue projection of the company in their five-year plan. You need to put this revenue in the DCF model. Enter the revenue for the year 2020 from the company finance forecast sheet and also calculate the percent growth for the revenue from year 2026 onward. To calculate the growth percentage, just take the average of the previous growth percentage and next year growth percentage to calculate present growth percentage. As it, the growth percentage is trending towards one percentage by 2030. Let's look into the EBITDA, which is earnings before interest taxes, depreciation, and amortization, is an alternate measure of profitability to net income. To calculate EBITDA, go to the company fin forecast sheet. There is EBITDA given with post exceptionals, minus the exceptionals from EBITDA from 2020 onward. Now to calculate the forecast margin for EBITDA, just take the average of previous year percentage and next year percentage to calculate it for present year percentage. Now enter the values for depreciation and amortization given in the FIN forecast sheet of the company. Add both the amortization and depreciation. Put a negative sign as these are negative values. You can either multiple it by minus one or just put minus minus sign in front after enclosing in bracket. For percentage capex, you need capex value in the other row. That's row 40. That's why we will update its value first. Link the value of CapEx from the company FIN forecast sheet. For the 2025 onward, take the previous year CapEx value as given. To calculate percentage of CapEx, divide the value of amortization and depreciation with CapEx value. You can use the previous cell formula or this error formula.
For tax rate from 2022 onward, use 17% as given. Just link the value for change in working capital, other cash flow, and exceptional items from the company FIN forecast sheet. Your financials for the company is completed, and now to populate the discount cash flow model. Now let's populate the DCF model. To start, you need to fill the values for key assumptions like perpetuity growth rate, EBITDA multiple, weighted average cost of capital value used for sensitivity analysis. All the assumptions are provided in the task three. Look into it for any confusion. Link the revenue from the financial sheet in the DCF model from 2017 onward, and also calculate the growth in revenue from 2017. To do so, just divide the next year revenue from previous year revenue minus one. You can use IFETR formula to do, or you can, you can simply divide it in minus one to calculate the growth percentage. Link EBITDA from the financial sheet 
and also calculate percent margin of EBITDA and percent growth to calculate percent margin, divide EBITDA with revenue, and to calculate percent growth, divide next year EBITDA with previous year EBITDA minus one. Link depreciation and amortization from the financial sheet and also calculate cent margin of DNA and percent growth to calculate percent sales, divide DNA with revenue. Leave the cent tank capex, we will fill it later as we needed the value of capex to calculate it. Now calculate the EBIT percent margin and cent growth. To calculate cent margin, divide EBIT value from revenue and to get cent growth, divide the next year EBIT value from previous year EBIT value minus one. Link the tax rate percentage from the financial from 2020 onward. To calculate tax, multiply the tax rate with EBIT and you will get your tax. Calculate the EBIT or earnings before interest after taxes. Add tax value to the EBIT value to get it. To calculate percent margin, divide EBIT value from revenue and to get percent growth, divide the next year EBIT value from previous year EBIT value minus one. Link the depreciation and amortization values from the financials from 2021 onwards. Use minus after equals to remove the negative sign in the DNA. Link CapEx from the financial sheet and also calculate cent sales of CapEx and percent DNA to calculate percent sales, divide CapEx from revenue, and to calculate cent DNA, divide next capex from DNA.
Now fill the assumption like perpetuity growth rate, wax C, EBITDA, multiple, etc. You can easily find these assumption in the task page. After completing all of this, go to DCF output sheet. Your output should be ready and available to use. Part one of your task is now completed. Save it and upload the Excel file in the task and your partwise task will be completed. Now you need to present a PPT to your client with all the work you have done so far. Just copy and paste the DCF output model in the PPT and upload this PPT in the task. Your task three will be completed. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.